Good day all, it's Bear Bully returning to review the US markets and the relation to the school run strategy as shared by Trader Tom. We're going to cover off on the NASDAQ first, but the first thing I want to highlight is that we are now looking at 200,000 bars worth of data to assess how the strategy has performed over a really long period. Um, the settings is now based on percentages, given that the longer period really presents us with a wide range of index values, so absolute uh, parameters would not make sense. And so um, it was switched to percentages. So for now, 1.1% of index value is being used um, for the max candle size. 0.2% for the minimum candle buffer still 7 the min percent 5% that's uh, probably it, it just says that the candle has to close 5% away from the high or the low to give it a bit of room to build momentum to break through it um, TP is still 500 points and uh, yeah, those are the times for the market. So the way I got around the summertime problem was to change the platform's time to that market that we are trading in. So now for this set of charts, the platform is set to New York time. Okay, so this 9.30 is when the New York Stock Exchange opens. Um, and so that's what we're going to use. Right, uh, two lots for the risk that we're taking. Um, and so what did we get? So comparing to last time when we were testing over the shorter period, um, you can see significant reductions in the average profit per trade. Um, or let's rather say the average expected outcome per trade uh, is now $9.83. And it used to be 40-80. Uh, sharp ratio has declined. Risk reward ratio still okay at 1.34. And win rate slightly comparable. Um, well, has, has deteriorated slightly, but not all that much. Um, so given the higher number of trades, obviously a higher profit. But if you consider this is now taken over roughly about eight to nine years, not not the best uh, way to spend your time or your money, but luckily this is uh, Algo doing that, so your time is not really affected. Right. Um, let's discuss what's been happening here. So we've got this really flattish performance all the way up to January 2020, and then it started to fire. Now, who can remember what happened then? This is when we started to see a lot of people, due to the lockdowns being announced, trading from home. So it seems that these day traders have been creating the liquidity and momentum for the strategy to, to be successful. Uh, and I guess what we have to say to ourselves is, that, is, is how long does these market conditions persist? Um, and as long as they still persist, then um, the strategy should still work. But as more and more people return to work, is that why it's now starting to do this flatlining again? All right. So are we going to see this again until the next big um, event that creates the similar type of market conditions that we were seeing over here. But incidentally, um, as the market drops here, right, um, it, what I, okay, what I'm saying is the market actually worked both in an up market as well as in a down market. All right. So let's look at gold next. Again, 200,000 bars. Um, so with gold, uh, 
There we go. Um, the parameters are also converted to percentages. 1.5% of price for the maximum. Oh, that's for TP actually. Uh, for the trading stop, it's 0.75% of price and 0.6% uh, of price for the maximum ca candle size. I believe this is 0.188% of candle size for the minimum. Oh, of price actually. Um, And uh, yeah, the buffer is still at two dollars and uh, one percent oh, close before below the high or the low. It's just really to give it um, every chance to take a trade, really. Okay, and, and another thing that changed on gold when I ran it over the longer period was to only start the algo at 10 a.m. New York time, where it used to be 8.30 now it is 10 a.m. So regardless, it's not a great performance, um, but again, really good performance just from April 22. And also here, March 2020. Oh, bit of seasonality. So March to... November, April, Feb, to October. Okay, bit of a seasonal seasonal pattern there, um, but it only happened twice. This one here, June to November. Okay, there seems to be something there for some annual behavior three years out of the last eight oh not a very good uh, <laughs> statistic okay anyway so gold is it's really just fired in the last few years not been a good strategy before then but maybe the gold price was just too low to use in this type of thing you know um, maybe the trading costs of gold was too high but something's changed. Um, but from here to here, not not a terrible good uh, return anyway. So, and yeah, I'm running this at you ten lots per ten lots. Where's my size? I can't see it here, but it was ten ten contracts per dollar move in there also. Ten dollars profit per. Oh, there it is. Sixteen. Sorry, sixteen. Um, for four hundred and fifty dollar return so far. Okay, but if you started trading it, yeah, he would have been from nine thousand to fifty. Yeah, so one and a half thousand dollars roughly. So don't know if I'll include gold now as a result of this into the portfolio probably not okay so that takes care of gold um next up is the s p let's close the us check all right so s p bring it to me Right, oh, let's improve this a little bit. Give me a sec, yeah. Okay. Um, so the S&P had a losing month as well. Thousand dollars down. Um, Settings for the s and I don't think I've shared it yet for the first time. Right, so 
0.9% of the index or of the price to determine the maximum candle. It used to be 35 points. 0.2% uh, for the minimum or 8 points. Buffer of 1, 5% close from high or low to give it a bit of momentum. And, and when this doesn't, if it, if it closes too close, then all the algo does it will give it another candle to do, to, to give it a chance to do it in the next candle. Okay. And I, and I actually think then what happens is the next candle becomes your breakout candle. So the high and low also shifts one candle long. All right. Um, TP is still 90, time frames 9.30, and trading 9 lots. So let's look at the stats, 1.41, 1.5. That's actually still pretty consistent. However, due to this long period of nothingness, um, just creating trades, the average expect expected outcome of a trade reduced because the profit didn't really move much. Um, all the money was made in the basically in this last period um, and only $2,000 in the period before. So really pulls down that number there. Win rate still fairly positive at 44%. Um, and we shouldn't be discouraged because at the moment the market is still very much in in the in the world of people. I think there's still a lot of people trading from home. Um, then once you start, it's hard to stop. But yeah, it bears watching if this is going to continue. Um, so it is it's a bit discouraging, I must say. But I hope the um, the algo will will just perform again, and that this is just a period of um, slow performance. Mm. I mean, the one thing we can't get away from is this is what it's doing now. So the heyday for it is is really over. Uh, okay, so that is the S&P 500 for you, and um, I will I will basically bring the results into the portfolio as well, which will be published in in, a, in the next video once I've uh, changed the platform to run the Hang Seng and the South African um, All Share Index, which is the other index I'm going to add to the mix. Um, and then, of course, GJ as well. So, therefore, I have to change the platform to the UK time zone. Um, all right. So, I'll be back soon. And then we'll discuss the rest of the results. Cheers.